Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy Solishpa here, back with a brand new video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to install the node modules for Minecraft. This will help you with scripting and understanding scripting, because anything you don't understand, you can right click it and go to the definition um, inside of Visual Studio Code once you install the node modules for your pack. So this will really help you out in scripting and learning scripting and understanding scripting as a whole and everything that you can do inside of Minecraft using the Minecraft server and the Minecraft server UI. This is another way of having the documentation inside your script instead of having to go to the documentation. Um, but there's also links in there as well that will take you right to the documentation that you're looking at, such as the action form data or anything like that. So let's get into installing node modules for your pack. So to begin, you want to go to the first link in the description and you guys will need to download node.js. So guys, the one you want to download is the one that's recommended for most users, the LTS version. So download this. And once you've downloaded it, come back to the video. Then what you guys want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. And you will be brought to this page here for NPM. What you guys want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to find the most stable version that you are trying to install. So for me, that'll be 1.7 and 1.20.40. Stable. So we're going to click on that. Once you've done that, you guys then want to go to the install button right here and you want to copy that. Then you're going to open up Visual Studio Code. Once you guys open up Visual Studio Code, you're going to go to your behavior pack that you are working on and you're going to right click it and you're going to go to open an integrated terminal. Once you do that, you're going to then paste in the um npm i that you just in uh, that you just clicked on uh to copy and then you're going to press enter once you have done that you will see node modules but first what you guys want to do is you guys then want to download the third link in the description so on the third link in the description go to versions and scroll down to where it says uh the most stable version so my most stable is 1.2.0 beta dot 1.20.40 dash stable as you guys can see so we're going to click on that and then you're going to click on here and you're going to copy that then guys you're going to open up visual studio code once again and then you're going to paste it in and enter and let it install so guys once you guys have installed the node modules you guys can go up here to node modules and you guys will see at minecraft you can click on that and you can see we've got common server and server ui that means we have installed it correctly now guys from here we can go to server and we can click on the index.d.ts tab or you can go to the server ui and click on the same thing and this will explain everything inside of the server ui to us or the server to us so inside server ui obviously that's everything to do with the uis so the action form data and it'll explain what the action form data is so i'll say build a simple player form with buttons that let the player take action so it will explain down here all the parameters for it as well so the body the button the show and the title and everything like that um and if we go down here we can find message form data and everything that you need inside of that we can find model form data and everything inside that you need for that um but it can also help us with scripts as well so if you're doing a one of my tutorials and you just don't understand what a certain thing is so for example gui and daily rewards if you didn't understand what get dynamic property was for example we can right click it we can go to definition and as you guys can see we can see what this does now so we can scroll up, we can find get dynamic property, it'll explain what it is. We can find get components, it'll explain what that is, uh, and everything like that, guys. So I hope this does help you with scripting and learning scripting as a whole. Um, it definitely has helped me out a little bit because I can sometimes look at something and I just don't know what it does, or I want to do something, but I don't know how to do it. I can always go to the node modules, kind of Minecraft, and I can go into the server, I can go to index.ts, and I can look through here for things that I just don't fully understand. 
So I hope this does help you guys. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if it has helped you. Subscribe to the channel as well. So you never miss another upload. I will upload every Sunday at 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. UK time. But with that said, it's B-Boy Solus, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.